Unit 6, Lesson 1, Part 1, The Equation of a Line in Slope by Intercept Form. So we have just completed Unit 5, uh, where we looked at slopes of lines. So in Unit 6, we're going to be looking more in detail into the equation of a line. So this first lesson is called the Equation of a Line in Slope by Intercept Form. So there's two letters that I want to highlight. So the first one is the letter M, and the second one is the letter B. So M represents the slope of your line, and this can be done through calculating the rise over run if you're given a graph, um, or slope can be calculated using Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1 if you are giving uh, points on the line. B, there's two ways to get B. So B is the y-intercept of the line. So what that means is where the line crosses the y-axis. So if you are given a graph, then you can just look at the graph and see where it crosses the y-axis. Or you can figure out the y-intercept when x is equal to 0. So let's try some examples. So Example one says, identify the slope and y-intercept of each linear relation and write its equation. So slope is our m and y-intercept is our b. So once you have these two quantities, you can put them together to form the equation of the line. So the first one, what we're going to do is we're going to find our slope. So we are going to use rise over run. So m is equal to rise over run. So I'm going to just start with my formula. And then what I do is I like to pick two points on the line. And I like to pick points that intersect the grid at um, points. Like this one intersects at a point. This would not be a good example. See it's how it's in the middle. Um, so I'm going to use uh, that point and that point. Uh, if you wanted to use different ones, it would be fine. You'll still get the same um, result. Now, when I look at this graph, I can tell that it's sloping in a downward fashion. So my slope is going to be negative. So just make sure your answer corresponds with that prediction. And then what you're going to do is you're going to travel from the more left point to the more right point. So if you were to travel from this point at 6 to the 2 over here, you have to go down. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 down. And remember that down is a negative direction. So you start by putting negative 6. And then we have to go um, across. So that's our run. So 1, 2. So the rise is negative 6. The run is 2, and then you simplify that. So negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. So I have um, my m portion. Slope is done. So now we need to do our y-intercept. So y-intercept is really easy. This is your y-axis. You just want to get the number where the uh, line crosses the y-axis. So it's right there. So b is equal to 6. So once you have m and b, it's really easy. It's just like uh, putting a sandwich together. You just put the numbers in the right spot. So then your s equation becomes y equals mx plus b, where m is negative 3. So you write that first, then the letter x, and then our b is positive 6. So we write plus 6. And that is your equation. Okay, so let's try to do, um, we'll do this one next. So first step, you want to find your slope. So always begin with your equation. Um, and then I take a look at the line before I do any numbers, and I see that this is sloping upwards. So I know that my slope is going to be a positive number. So pick your points. So I'm going to pick this one here at negative 4. And I'm going to pick this one here at 2. So m is equal. So I want to go from this point to this point. So it's going to, I'm going to go up 2, 1, 2. So that's my rise. And then my run is 1, 2, 3, 4. 
and then I have to simplify. So m equals 2 over 4 is a fraction that can be reduced to 1 half. So my slope is 1 half. My b, I look at my y-axis and it, my line crosses the y-axis at y equals 2. So b is 2. And then once I have these two quantities, I put them together y equals one half x plus two. Okay, let's keep going for the, uh, the next two. Um, so again, I look at my line and I see that it's sloping in a downwards direction. So I know that my slope, when I calculate it, it should be negative. So start with the formula for slope. M is equal to rise over run. And then look at your line and pick your points. So I'm going to pick this point here at negative 5 and this one here at negative 2. So to go from the left point to the right point, I have to go down 2 units. So remember, down means negative. So 1, 2, down. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 across. And my fraction can't be reduced, so I leave it like that. My y-intercept, so I look at the y-axis and look where my line crosses the y-axis. So it crosses it at negative 2. So I've got b, oh, sorry, I've got m, and I've got b. So once I have those two quantities, I can just put it into my equation. I just have to put the numbers in the right spot. So m is first, so m is negative 2 over 5. Then you write the letter x, my b is negative 2, so I write that into my equation. Okay, last one on this page. Uh, so we start with finding our slope, so m is equal to rise over run. And then I want to pick my points. So I'm looking, so I can pick, this point um, crosses the grid at a, at, at a point. And this one as well. I'm looking for any more. I could also use that one. Alright, so I'm going to use that one because that one's crossing the grid. But if you wanted to use that one, that would be totally fine. Uh, and feel free to um, pause the video and try them on your own. So I'm going to use this point here and that point. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 units up. And up is a positive uh, measurement because my slope is positive. So that I should get a positive number. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 up. And 1, 2 over. So my rise was 6. My run is 2. And then I need to simplify that. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. So my slope is 3 my y-intercept so i go to my y-axis and i look where the line crosses the y-axis so it crosses it at the number one so i've got slope i've got y-intercept so i can put those together to make an equation so y is equal to 3x plus 1.